<laughs> Good morning people, it's Dom here from Payday Pickups and today it's currently 10 o'clock right now and if you want to I've got bags and I look really tired, I've got bedded as well. Finished work because I had a staff meeting so I finished at 6 in the morning and right now it's quarter past 10 so I've had like 4 hours sleep and basically why I'm up so early is because I've got a vintage fair. I want to go check it out see if I can get any bargains. So my fit for today, it's more of a vintage fit. I've got my silver bar chain, I've got my grey Colorado champion sweater. If you want to see this then I've done a champion look book. I've got the white long line represent t-shirt then comes to the bottom it's my DIY ripped top man jeans. I've got the silver jean chain and then on the feet I haven't got right now but I'm going to be wearing my white superstar because I'll complement well with this white long line tee. So I'm currently walking to the vintage fair now and I'm definitely going to be late. It's like 25 past and it starts at half past. Hopefully all the good stuff isn't gone by then. But the main reason I'm actually going here is to be honest is to get stuff to sell because it's going to be like vintage Ralph, vintage Tommy Hilfiger hopefully and all branded stuff. So hopefully I'll get them and I'll be putting them on my Depop because I actually need some money at the moment and it'll be in the description box below. It's at Dom Hadley. If you want to buy anything then go check that out. I've got a load of branded stuff. But basically, I'll kind of do it like a trip to the thrift video if you've ever seen one of them. I've never done one, but basically at the end, I'll just show you like a quick haul of all the items I've bought. Hopefully it'll be really cheap and hopefully you enjoy it. I'll show you a few clips inside and me in action, blah, blah, blah. But I'll see you there. Yo. What's <laughs> 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 happening? Oh shit, bad hands. Yeah, my man Kaya. <laughs> I'm off the shits again, I'm off the shits again I see my demons know they name Last night antics Hey, it's not last night Last night's antics Painful antics Suck out knuckle Oh <laughs> Go through the violence Until it all makes sense Still got so many questions <laughs> Right, so I've just finished from the vintage fair with Mankaya. Still. Oh shit. <laughs> and basically, I'm going to show you a little few montage of the clips I bought. I bought five sweaters. I'm going to show you two and then I'll show you the rest when I get back home. So me and my man Kaya have just literally finished filming a few clips of what I've just bought. I'll show you the rest when I get home, but right now I'm about to go get some food. It's from this Istanbul cafe. It's all authentic food, all homemade, and I'm gonna get a chicken shawarma kebab. Okay, safe mo, see you in a bit. Thanks for moving, man. Save it. Guys, check me on Instagram with Kyle Moore One. It's the man from it's the man from Waterley Road, Felix, the famous one. <laughs> see you in a bit, man. So I'm back at my uni room now and you're probably wondering why I'm wearing a different top. Basically, as soon as I got back, I literally blacked out because I said I had like four hours sleep. Completely fell asleep, woke up and it was like half seven and it's pitch black and I don't have lighting so I thought I may as well just do it in the morning the next day. So now I'm going to recap the five things I bought at the Vintage Fair. First one it is this black Nike sweater. Very simplistic, just says Nike and a tick underneath. Black, no stains, very clean condition and this will be on my Depop. All five of these will be on my Depop at Dom Hadley at the bottom. The second one I got is another light blue one, like more darker than the thingy, the Reebok one, it is this diesel one, red D there and the black it just says diesel and it says denim division. More of a sat girl size 8 because it's shrunk in the wash clear, it's probably a men's but it's shrunk so I'd advise a girl to want to buy this unless you're just tiny like a boy so size small. All right. So the third item out of the five, it is this navy adidas sweater, very simplistic, it just has the white adidas logo there on the left breast and it has the white lining on both sides of the shoulder pads, nothing on the back, no stains, once again it's going to be my Depop, at Dom Hadley as always, size large, this is shrunk of it, it's meant to be 
big double XL that shrunk, it's about a size large. Yeah, the description box below, so go check it out. The fourth and fifth, you've already seen both of these. So the first one is this sky blue Reebok sweater, and it has the navy shoulder lining, just like the Adidas one before, but this one's got a navy lining there. Small Reebok logo on the left chest, nothing on the back, completely very good condition. The fleece inside actually feels like it's brand new still, and this one's in a size medium, actually. And last but not least, this one's actually my favourite. This one's probably rarest as well, it's the Adidas equipment one. Big logo there, you saw these in the closest before. It's weird, it has like a double line in here, you'll be able to see it's like a thick line on the neck, so it's got two line in there, which I actually like about it, it feels like it's a better quality. Thick track jumper, double XL, but I say it fits like, I don't know, it fits like an XL on me, but it is an oversized fit. No stains whatsoever, it's kind of like a, you know, like a dark acid wash grey, but let me know your favourite of the five, and if you're interested, then go check out my Depop. Overall, I hope you enjoyed my second vlog. Give me some feedback in the description box below and some criticism if you want to, it's be constructive so I can improve my vlogs. If you enjoyed it, then give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button, join the family. Overall, have a nice day, and I'll see you in the next one. Too long now, I'm getting zoned out, threatened to get thrown out, my college and my own house. I'm feeling hazy, for days I've been waiting for my niggas to win.